What's going on, guys? Uh, today we're going to showcase a new product we're releasing. Um, it's going to be Spec Map Action 001. Today I'm going to showcase this product on the Gen 6 005 from Alan Elwood, and I'm using number set 015 from Justin Wilkinson. Um, now, first thing we need to do is import the spec maps, or excuse me, the spec map actions. And we're going to do that by going to Window Actions. You just need to click this and make sure it's checked. It'll show up somewhere in your interface. Once you have that interface loaded, you just go here to the uh, hamburger icon, click Load Actions, navigate to your folder where you have this downloaded, and load that in. Now, these actions, uh, basically generate spec maps based on the selection that you provide. Now, as, as a default, or as they are today, we have several options to choose from. We have gloss, flat, matte, chrome, matte chrome, metallic, satin, candy, and suede. Now, I may add to these later uh, post-release uh, as a free update to provide a few more finishes. Um, these are just a good starting point for me to release this product and show, show you guys how to use them. So what we're going to do is create our first selection to make the red that you see on the canvas a matte chrome or metallic. Um, we'll try both. Um, and what we want to do is we want to select all of those areas on the canvas. Now, there's a couple things to note here. We're going to use the magic wand tool. And we need to make sure that sample all layers is checked up here in the top of your Photoshop interface. Now, we're going to select any layer on the layers panel. There has to be one selected or highlighted, I should say. And we're going to make our initial selection. Now, that grabbed everything that is red that touches one another, essentially. But what you want all the other red that exists on the canvas for that graphic element so what we're going to do is we're going to hit select and similar now that selects everything that is red on the canvas at least close to the tone of red that we've we have selected now you have to pay attention when you do this because it will select other areas that are close such as the tail lights here and the a piece of the 1le logo also the K&N logo and the Sunoco logo. So what we're going to do is we're going to deselect de those areas. Now to deselect, we're going to use the marquee tool and we're just going to hold alt. Now holding alt brings up the minus symbol on that cursor. And if you just click and drag over that area, it will deselect. So we're going to go ahead and deselect all of these areas that we don't want the spec map applied to. And you have to be really careful not to bleed into your selection that you want. I'm going to get the Sunoco and K&N logo on both sides here. And we also, if you notice, we have part of the NASCAR logo selected. I'm going to get rid of all of those areas. Okay, now I'm going to hit Control-Z to bring our canvas back full size. So from here, we want to just highlight, we want to expand the custom spec map group, but we want to highlight the topmost layer. And then we're going to select the finish that we want here in the spec map actions group in our actions window. Now I'm going to go with a matte chrome and I'm just going to hit play here. Now what that did is that created a spec map layer based on your selection. Now it's important to note that this these layers that get created must remain outside of your red green or blue channels but still be inside your custom spec map group we just don't want to end these layers and it needs to be at the top because if it's below it will change and potentially not show up because of the layers that are above it so we want to bring it to the very top but within the spec map group okay so let's turn that off and let's render that on the car. And I have action set up for all these cars that I commonly 
paint to make the saving process a little easier. I'm going to flip over to the car viewer here. And as you can see, it has applied that finish to those areas on the canvas. Now, what if we don't want that finish? What if we want to go with metallic instead of matte chrome? So what we'll do is we'll just hold control. Let's flip back over to Photoshop here. We're going to hold control and on the layer mask, we're going to click, left click the layer mask while holding control and that will reselect your selection. And from here, we can just hit the metallic finish. And because these are the same, the metallic finish is going to be what you see. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and delete the matte chrome finish. That way we only have the metallic that we're working with. And I'm going to save this on the car again. Let's flip back over. And as you can see, that has changed the finish. Okay. Now that we have our spec map applied to our graphic elements, what if we want to change the numbers to Chrome, for example? So what we're going to do is same thing as before. We're going to take our selection tool. Make sure sample all layers is checked. And we're going to select the body of each number element by holding shift and clicking the body of the numbers. And from here, we're going to select the Chrome spec map action. We're going to hit play. And as you can see, it created that new layer there. And let's render that on the car. Okay, so as you can see, it's applied the Chrome numbers everywhere we select it on the car. Now, if we want to change the base color or the base finish of the car, say we want to make it flat, for example. Right now, it's using the default spec map settings that are within the red, green, and blue channels. To make it flat, what we're going to do is we're going to do a control A. That selects the entire canvas, and we're going to go to the flat spec map action, and we're going to hit play. Now, what happens is, is that creates a new layer without a layer mask. Because this works the same way as your painting layers, and there's no transparency on this layer, it basically removes your previous created spec map layers. All we need to do is drag it down below the two other spec map layers, but above the red, green, and blue channels and make sure it's still in the custom spec map group. And what that'll do is that'll allow it to show up below our Chrome setting and our metallic setting. That way, everything else is going to be flat. And now we're going to render that on the car. Flip over to the car viewer. And as you can see, the black is where it shows up best. The white is flat, but because it's white, it doesn't show up as well, especially in the 3D viewer. Um, but it is flat everywhere except the numbers and the red. And that is a basic overview of how our spec map actions 001 product works. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email us at <clears throat> support at samuratmarket.com or join our Discord and we can help you there. Thanks for watching.